first, let's start off with the head. We'll start off with the head. So, I just, I've memorized the shape of the head, but if you're starting out, here's what I did when I first started out. First of all, you draw a circle. You can usually do this more fluently without a giant camera in front of me, but since I need to record this, I have to have a giant camera on a tripod in front of me. So, the circle doesn't have to be round since this is going to be erased anyway after. So you should draw it very lightly. I just drew it darkly because it's hard to see on camera. For a second, you draw a little pointed shape. It's kind of like a triangle for you. A triangle without a line on the bottom, I guess you could call it. And if it really bugs you, just erase the circle part. There you go, you have your head. Second, you need to start on your eyes. Now, I've memorized where to place the eyes, but sometimes I still use this guideline. You draw a line one in the middle, and one line where you want the top of your eyes to be, and one line where you want the bottom of your eyes to be. I like to make them smaller because uh, I like narrow eyes. The guideline is lopsided. It's not a very good example. I like to draw smaller eyes, but we're gonna draw fit bigger eyes. The eyes are always going to be probably different. The eyes are very different. It depends on what you want to draw for the eyes. I usually like to draw thin ones, but you can draw whatever kind of eyes you like, which I'll post in another video. So. Basically, because of the eyes, usually you have to make the upper part arched up. And remember to follow the guidelines, so it's good. Sorry about that, my camera died. So, I have to charge it for a bit. Okay, you did. Anyway, so and after you draw the bottom of the eye and the bottom guy's eye, and this is going to be very, well, as I said, the bottom of the eye. I usually like to do these parts first because that's kind of where you put the circle part of your eye that I don't know what's called. And if you're doing a girl like I'm doing in this picture, you add eyelashes. Girls' eyes are usually bigger than the boys' eyes, but sometimes in rare cases, guys' eyes are bigger than girls. Only for like the little characters. Anyway, the eye, um, the size of the eye part, the circle eye part. Sorry, my brother's being creepy. The circle, the circular part of the eye is starts at. The tip of the bottom of the eye, and then it sort of widens at the top, and it's thicker at the bottom than the top because it shines or the sparkly stuff at the top. Remember to make it thicker on the top than the bottom. That's what I like to do. Everyone's in case to their own opinion, so. You don't like it? Just don't watch this tutorial. Okay, after the eyes. Oh yeah, almost forgot. You should add the fold or whatever it's called. I call it crease. Uh, it's the on the side of the eye and what the crease is on the eye. So just to make it a bit look a bit more realistic. And I usually like to color in the eyes at the end, so you're gonna have to watch until the end of this tutorial. Oh, the camera's not being good. Anyway, 
anyway. Now, the nose should be at the center of the guide line. And the bottom part where you do your bottom part of your eye. Or the line in the middle. Your nose should be right there. And your mouth. There's many kinds of mouth, but I like to use a mouth sort of separated and then the fold of the bottom of the mouth at the bottom, but I'm not going to use that for this tutorial because it looks weird on this. So I'm just going to do a cur line curving up for smile. Doesn't that look nice? And I draw the hair as the last thing, so that's not going to be till the end of this tutorial also. So now I draw the neck, which curves in. Oh, sorry, I gotta fix up the chin there. It curves in. Don't wanna make it too thick or too thin, or else it'll look really, really weird, and no one will like it. Yeah, it's important to skip her. Okay. And now the shoulders curve out. I'm drawing a girl, so the shoulders are less broad than a guy's. There's a bit of anatomy to go with anime, I guess. You yeah. oh, no. so now the shoulder part is a Shoulders. Oh. Sorry, my brother is being stabby and trying to get his face on camera. Sorry about that. circles for this, but I think it's just not right for me. We can use circles for going to want, but I don't. So the, I'm going to make fold the arms so the hands will be right here and the hands are going to be closed because if you're start, just starting, it's going to be extremely hard to draw hands. So anyway, I like to start with the forearm, and I'm going to be drawing the character with long sleeves of the so I like to draw the wrinkles of the sweater at the top part, and then add the elastic thingy, that's what I'm talking about. The elastic thingy at the top, and then I add the hand, which is just roughly the square. Then a line for it, and then the fold of the fingers. And the fold of the fingers. And then I do the same with the other side. So a forearm wrinkles and all that stuff. And you watch it for me. And I like to draw the lines for the fingers after. So now that we have the forearms, we're going to. I need to lower my um, camera. Just now that we have the forearms, we're going to have to add the elbow, which is basically curved. And you don't want the lines connected, or else it won't look like the arms are. Bent, they just look dislocated, and you don't want a dislocated anime character. And the anime character's eyes are eyes, arms are dislocated, and you don't want that. So next, you add what I call the back arms. The back part of the arms. Sorry about my brother for being disobedient. So 
now you have the back arms. And you can add wrinkles if you want. But I personally think that's when you get the hang of it. But you can add wrinkles on your first time too. And details like this, for me, I draw them like pointed at the top and then they kind of curve in. Like that. Okay. So now, and then. Ignore him. This is the second close the door. Okay, problem solved. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the collar of the penny. Mild interruptions. The, make the color of the hoodie. The color of the hoodie. And the hood part of the hoodie. And the hood part of the hoodie should be, not be circle. It's a look really weird. And it should be sort of sharp. Kind of like a weird rectangle or weird messed up stop sign. Top part weird messed up stop sign. And then in the center part we, is usually where the hood goes down, which makes it a hood. You shade it in to make it look dark. Now since you're drawing a girl, I want to add a bit of detail there just to make it look like an actual person. No offense, now, to add the zipper part. And here's a tip if you add details and if there's graphics on the shirts, if there's wrinkles, you have to make it a bit off. So, see how the line is there and then it stops and then it's kind of like a lightning bolt? That makes it look more realistic because. Well, that's how physics go in this world. Physics, I don't know. Okay, so now we're gonna draw the lower body. And I'm since I'm drawing a hoodie, I'm gonna draw wrinkles at the end because that's how I roll. And we're the wrinkles stop and align. Maybe the other. At the bottom, I like it. And Upper body. Yeah. I just said you were gonna work on the lower body. Now I said the upper body. I can't even make up my mind. Anyway, the upper body. Okay. Now I'm gonna do the lower body. The jeans, well, the pants, like the lower body are usually taking me less time to make the upper body. I don't know you. Again. Okay, I'll see you next. See you.
Thank you.